Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here this start of a new campaign in Kaiser Redux in which we're playing as Bulgaria in which we're going to attempt to get the uh, the Bulgar Bulgarists uh Bulgarist Bulgarist Bulgaria led by Ferdinand the first for Bulgaria but we just finished the Bulgarian land forces but let's see indeed the Bulgarian land forces are the part of the Tsar of Bulgaria with many referring to our great nation as the Prussia of the Balkans and a military of the state Bulgaria had seen much of its able-bodied men defying the Valkyrie, but was able to assert its military superiority, and emerged dominant in the Balkans, yet as a result, had incurred the penalty of high military pensions. It's clear we must also uh, take to examining both the status and readiness of our armies and our enemies, who surround us like eager vultures waiting to attack us. Will we quick to pounce on any sort of mistake we might make? The institution of performance must continue so that the Bulgarian land forces can forever maintain their dominance in the Balkans. Nah, no. And I just completed this one off screen first. Known as the Prussian of the Balkans, the Bulgarian land forces have been the pride and backbone of the Bulgarian nation. We must ensure that they remain strong and continually bolster them so as to maintain our hegemony in the Balkans. And maintaining hegemony. We cannot show or even allow our enemies to perceive any sort of weakness. We must assert our control or power in the Balkans. And remind the surrounding nations of the Bulgarian hegemony and the superiority of the Bulgarian land forces. Lest we lose the territorial gains made following the Valkyrie. Now, I haven't even read this yet, but uh, oh, that'd be pretty good to do. Um, but, you, but if you lose to the radical Democrats... Complete the first Bulgarization focus whenever. Donate to the Tartars. Doesn't matter, but if you lose, the, go radical. But if you lose, okay, so if you lose the Balkan War, you have to go radical Democrats. Well, I might pull some strings here called Consul Commands and make sure that we do win, but you know, I never know. Uh, complete the first Bulgarization focus first. Or resign. We're not having. Oh, it's time. Old finger line would be good. Use more guns first, though. A key component of maintaining the size of the Bulgarian land forces is its continual uh, production of equipment. By helping the production of infantry equipment, we can ensure that every soldier will have a firearm. Veterans Association Rally. The Bulgarian Veterans Association is an influential organization in the Tsar of Bulgaria, consisting mostly of soldiers and officers from the Bulgarian forces of the Valkyrie. These men are largely renowned as heroes uh, throughout the Tsar of Bulgaria. They are allied today in Sofia, consisting largely of patriotic displays, drawing large support for the populace. We must keep this in mind for the days to come. An economic collapse. Oh, great. Horror news has reached us. Apparently, the Berlin stock market or stock exchange, and while many consider an extremely abrupt turn of events, has plunged economically, setting the economy of the German Empire and the countries within the sphere on a downward spiral. Of course, these effects are not confined to the German sphere as Germany's trade partners, which include many nations both in Europe and around the world, have, which have also seen their economies tank. Bulgaria has not been left unscathed as we've also experienced severe economic downturn. International observers and enemies alike are closely watching our nation, with some calling this the beginning of the end of our Bulgarian Golden Age. In any case, we must turn our gaze towards our ever collapsing power. Our economy, thus we end up taking losing both the trust of our people and our dominance within the Balkans. We cannot fail. Oh my god, so bad. Um, but that means Black Money will hit us, rectify economic mistakes. Our worst fears have been realized. With the Berlin crash, we are, are already overburdened and backwards economy couldn't survive the pressure. And spluttered and failed. We must act quickly to save it in Bulgaria as a whole. Oh good lord. To the pious. Well I'm gonna focus on defense probably, honestly. Um even though we need more command power, but we'll get there in just a little bit. Even though this is going to destroy our political power. No, it's just stability and more support. Okay. Well, we're still doing okay. We don't have that many uh, national spirits. We have two. But military pensions, which suck. As well as alien economy. Not good, but we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. Uh, Baba Marta Day. A pagan ritual by origin. And one of the oldest continuing traditions in Europe, Baba Marta Day. Which occurs annually on the 1st of March. is a holiday in which uh, Martin says are worn throughout the month of March and tells the story of Baba Marta, sister wife of the great Longhorn Beetle, and Longhorn Beetle, small Longhorn Beetle. Due to her anger at being considered old by a shepherd, Baba Marta became infuriated and let out snow, which led to the shepherd and her flock to freeze in the mountains. In order to celebrate this occasion, festivities also occur on the 9th to 25th of March, with people celebrating the coming of spring. How interesting. The Bulgarian hegemony. We must turn our gaze towards maintaining hegemony in the Balkans in order to preserve the Bulgarian Golden Age as it stands. We're surrounded by the Romanians, who seek to take our rightful lands. And the Greeks in the south who also come that their land is theirs. Our land is theirs. Additionally, uh, Serbia has helped stoke the fires of Orlanchism, trying to secure its own hegemony in the Balkans. We cannot let that happen. We must stand firm. And the German Bulgarian War. Oh, more stability would be nice. Um, increased tensions. With the recent economic downturn, this far right group Zvenno, with former Bulgarian general Kimon Georgiev Stoyanov at its head, and his members have taken to attacking both physically and verbally. The Muslim communities that reside within the borders of Tsar of Bulgaria. Seeing the Bulgarian government for far too long has been rather lenient towards Muslims minorities alongside blaming them for job losses, members of Svena began to protest the policies of the government and demanded changes in the way that Tsar of Bulgaria treats its Muslim minorities. 
in response to these protests and attacks, counter protests and attacks against Veno by Bulgarian Turks and even some Pomaks have begun, with the groups agitating for the Bulgarian government to not only grant their respective communities further autonomy, but also make a clear stance on many issues that have been put on hold by the government. Oh dear. Oh, we must industrialize, yeah. Fight employment, yeah. Recognize or uh, reorganize veteran pensions. The current system of veteran pensions is simply unsustainable. Recognizing this, the government proposed to minimize them and spread them out more in time. Uh, the veterans will likely complain, but if we don't do that, they won't be able to get any pensions in the future. Uh, for this one, oh, I want grand battle plan, but I want to uh, we'll go superior firepower. I'll try that one. We're going to focus on defense first, because I just want to hold, because just holding is going to be super, super important. So now we come over here. Okay, so grant Muslim is autonomy, administer minority affairs in Turkish, Bulgarization, close Sharia family courts, Bulgarian languages, nations, bad Turkish political parties, may harm stability. Well, what won't? And the German Bulgarian trade war. Prime Minister Malinov's decision to break off all ties with Germany had disastrous consequences for his possibilities in choosing trade partners. Both of our, with both of our economies being hit by the Black Monday, perhaps it's time to end the ongoing trade war and cooperate once again. Veterans complain. The veterans who receive pensions from the government for their service in the Bulgarian are doing what we predicted they would. And that is complain. We have no other choice but to slow and decrease our payments as funds are needed elsewhere for the petty war. It's really great and good. And then, but we're going to go ahead and go over here and do the, not the Bulgarian Navy. Bulgarization. There are some protests regarding the status of Muslim minorities within the country, which shows that we must embark on the road of fully integrating them into the Bulgarian state as true Bulgarians, of course. A very spread of focus here. Um, and state insurance programs. With the private firm's failure to protect their customers from the horrors of the stock crash, it falls on the government to establish proper far reaching insurance programs and save Bulgarians in the future. Even though I do want to take the fight to the unemployed. The best way to help the people afflicted by the economic downfall is the start of a national works program. We need to create more jobs for the Bulgarian nation. Why isn't the Bulgarian National Bank? Well, that wouldn't be bad either. But let's do Bulgarization next. Oopsie. Not that one. Oh, look at the Kingdom of Finland. Bulgarization. Um. Hmm. To start an industrial program and to readying the economy for an imminent war. That'd be nice. And I do want, uh, so this is a focus over here. Ishaki has total control. Oh, well. Decisions made by Bul Bul Bulgarian National Bank leading up to the crash were not the wisest. It might be a good idea to send a couple of our so called representatives to make sure we won't repeat them. Two millies. Yeah, I want to get us ready immediately, pretty much. Ooh, fuel. Well, I sent over China, but that was a good head. Prepare the industry for war. So that all that war will decide Bulgaria's future is quickly, which is quickly approaching. If we survive the coming storm, we need to make sure our country is geared public towards infrastructure it. administration. The PIA, or Public Infrastructure Administration, is a new government agency that will attempt to create jobs through small to large construction projects. The PIA will hopefully help us deal with the Black Monday, which would bring Bulgaria to ruin if not dealt with in a fast enough time. Let's hope to see some benefits. Nice. We'll Locks three decisions that can be used in total five times. Decision to build forts on borders five times. Where are the decisions? We have arms factories we can create, which we do want. We've just finished this one, too. Um, I want to keep continue with this stuff as well. Ban Turkish political parties to get some better politi political power. For far too long, if Turkish societies and political parties have been a great thorn in the side of Bulgaria, we no longer allow them to operate, for we have rather lenient, been lenient towards them. If we would better integrate the Turks, then we cannot have them advocating for minority rights, of course. So let's come back over here real quick and look at this. So it doesn't matter we live in the Balkan War, but if you lose, go around whenever. Donate to the Tartars. So that's going to be important. Uh, keep going as Bulgaria with Tsar Ferdinand. Close Sharia families. Uh, get the Pomics. Um. Oh, wait, we're we supposed to donate to the Tartars? Oh, whoops. Did it something, wait, something about the Tartars earlier? No, no, we had an immigration thing off screen, which was basically nothing, so. Um. We're resigned, we're not having fun, Tsar Ferdinand. More Tatar immigrants. Another spike has appeared in the demographics. When even more people of Tatar descent arrived in our nation. No one knows exactly why people are coming here, but people who do end up in Bulgaria say that the situation was no longer able to be salvaged in the home country. Which to us seems a little strange, but it's the only reason we will ever get. Wow. Then take proportional representation. Focus for the liberals. But if this all gets screwed up, then uh, we'll definitely uh, make sure we do okay. Uh, Bulgaria, absolutist, a liberal sick power. Uh, is there a power that's Tsar? 
Political meritocracy. Proportional representation, huh? Donate to the Tartars. Well, we'll see. Of course, we're going to wise in the uh, Bulgarian National Bank next. I will export political power. Oh, what is this? Civvies, millies. Let's get a millie next. Come on, God, we could use more guns. We got not enough steel, but we can only cut down so much. We can grab one more Tartar proposition. The Tartars of Bulgaria wish for us to donate to their brethren who did not embark on the journey to Bulgaria and then fund their movements and people. Along with the small pensions of those who did immigrate to Bulgaria, there's very little anti Tartar sentiment arising in Bulgaria, so it could be worth a shot. So this one says, donate to them. We can make some donations, I guess. And when our party popularity keeps going lower, as we'll get with Tsar Ferdinand here, of course, or Zion. Get Ishaki into power. Ban the parties. And wise in the bank. Oh, Charles Curtis, huh? Nice job, Charles Curtis. This guy's not bad, though. Rise of the Vaz, eh? We will see, hopefully soon. Colonize Muslim regions. Armor stability. If we're to pass by Muslim majority regions, it's only understandable that we incentivize the Christian population to move to those areas and teach Turks and Palmax what it means to be a Bulgarian and Bulgarian values, of course. We're going to need those millies fast. Ah, that's not that much at a time. Not that much of a bonus, but we'll go with that one. Get ready for the war. Nice. And it's okay. Well, it's going to take a while for us to get to that point to get Bulgaris, Bulgaria. Cool. Everything's going up. Gujak Ishaki wins in Parliament. A person uh, of Volga, Bulgarian Tatar descent, known as Gashas Ishaki, a Bulgarist, he, as he calls himself, has been elected into the Bulgarian Parliament. He arrived to Bulgaria in the first wave of Tatar immigrants, where he quickly got himself working in a political career in the time. A Tatar in Parliament? Fear of the industry? Uh, I think it was earlier, but it's all clear to, that a world to set Bulgaria's future is quickly approaching. If we're to survive the coming storm, we need to make sure our economy is geared towards it. Pretty much, man, pretty much. It's almost 37. Go and grab this one, too. Build and construct and build and construct. More factories, more guns. Because these guys just need guns. These guys need artillery and guns, so. Train these galleywags. And then we'll go over there to the right. Yeah, I want to colonize them. Arm stability, the Tartar's open secret. I hope the secret about Tsar, Ferdinand I, is that he himself is a bisexual man. The rumors have been spread and discussed about the Tsar, especially with regards to him taking frequent holidays on Capri. Indeed, it was well known by many that the Tsar does have homosexual interests and has caused many scandals for the royal family. What can we do about it either way, though? Our king is a gay? <sighs> well, go figure, you know. You never know, I guess. But, whatever. Oh, military factory is nice, not bad. Alright, let's go and trade one more way. We're trading with the German Empire, of course. Because why not? That hurt us badly? Yeah, not too bad. I want that political power. Colonize those Muslim regions. Let's colonize them. After that, I want to come over here. The Bulgarian economy, of course, I read earlier, is mostly based on the agricultural sector. Most was fine in previous centuries. The modern world showed us that this reality is proponent to falter during the time of economic hardship. So at that time, we embarked on a serious industrialization program. Yeah, we're going to get more motorized, huh? Factory workers protest over conditions. Yet again, the workers in our sparse factories have thrown down their tools and taken demanding better working conditions in them. We know this uh, ahead of this other times ahead for Bulgaria, and they do not. Give a good image of the common people. We loosen up our conditions, and but that would obviously hamper our industrial growth. Complete the first Bulgarization. Donate to Or resign when having to suffer to end. You want Bulgaria to live or not? Loosen up the conditions. Uh, parties, leaders' popularity goes down, which this will make it low go down. So, 
rather than the Tartar sympathy in the government. The whispers in Parliament that I do not have getting intercepted by our ears speak of the Tartars, and not of how bad they are, but how the Tartar situation is poor and we should seek to better it, especially the Volga, ta Volga Tartars. It seems that Gaja Ishaki has been preaching to our Parliament unnoticed. Let's be working with Ishaki. He is leading what party? It's not Sven, though. Ah, we're leading all these parties. Look at that. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. Stand up in America. America's gonna go kaboom. Yay, more political power. We'll get us to. Ooh, prepare for imminent war. Uh, let's save up for that one. That seems like a good idea. Helps consumer goods, factory speed, factory output. Because for consumer goods, it gets a little worse, but whatever. That's definitely uh, worth doing. No, I guess maybe so the city. I don't know, we'll see how this war ends up. Oh, Austria is killing itself. They usually the national pop is usually lose. Looking pretty thick right now. Colorado, huh? We must industrialize. Liberation Day. Oh, on the third of March, 1878, still the start Bulgaria was liberated improperly. Oh look at that. Um uh, establishes a state with the signing of the Treaty of San Stefano. Supported by, uh, supported and by the Honorable Alexander II of Russia, the Ottoman Empire was later forced to give the Tsar in Bulgaria most of its current day territory. Later on, following the Treaty of Berlin in 1878, look at that, um, the Prince of Altium to the of Bulgaria alongside Eastern Rumelia was established by the powers of Europe. In 1908, we would go on to declare our formal independence. Bulgarians rejoice. Nice. Artillery, infantry equipment. Zag of Mariners of War. Nice. Kaboom. Resettlement of Ottoman areas. With the beginning of the new mass migration policy is officially put in motion by the government of the Tsar in Bulgaria, we were asked the first of our Christian Bulgarian settlers to begin moving to the mostly Muslim Western Thrace as so as to better homogenize the region with the rest of our nation. And, uh, while it's certainly not dear to our Muslim population, we know that it's much pushed forward with our directives the, despite any potential pushback. So it seems. Doris uh, Arsenal AD. Originally, the ruse artillery at Arsenal. State owned Arsenal AD, located in the towns of Kazanlak, as the oldest Bulgarian arms manufacturer. With another Balkan war fast approaching, it's best we would incentivize them to increase their production. Oh, wow. Tension surrounding uh, industrialization. Severe discontent has aired, or been in the air within the Tsardom of Bulgaria, as many of our peasants and factory workers experienced poor economic conditions due to the economic crash now dubbed Black Monday. It's only been made worse due to the decision of uh, beginning the industrialization of the nation. With the opposition coming from the Bulgarian and Hungarian National Union and its members, who are mostly peasant farmers. Uh, oh, look at that. While we managed to temporarily quell most of the discontent, we must hope that our policy of industrialization succeeds, lest we fail to pull ourselves out of this economic crisis and risk the people turning on us. And that would be very bad. We must go forward no matter what. Our popularity is going down, though. In recent wave of polls and questionnaires about the government, it appears the popularity is trending way, way lower than usual. Now, a highly unpopular candidate to lead the nation, this will explain the small protests as gatherers and gatherings in the nation. Some members of the problem have expressed or uh, pressured for then the first to resign. Meanwhile, keep going. Not bad. Close Sharia family courts. Sharia courts, mostly used in Bulgaria by the Pomaks uh, and Turks, are as a way to settle inner family disputes, have long been a blemish upon a great nation as Orthodox people. If we're to remove all traces of the Ottoman Turks from our lands, we must begin by shutting down these institutions and have the users abide by Bulgarian civil law. Factory strike. The workers in our sparse factories have thrown down their tools and taken demanding better work conditions in. Oh, I already read this one. Uh, yeah, we're going to close a Sharia family courts next. Which would be good. Be very good. Because we want that political power and that stability back. Resentment or settlement of Pomacarios. Ah, the stream of Bulgarian settlers in the eastern Rodope and northern Albanian mountains and regions have slowly resulted in greater promotion of Christian Bulgarian attitudes in the area. Well, it'll take the Pomak some time to adjust to the new settlers. We can only hope that this will allow us to better teach them Bulgarian values. So, it seems. The royals died. Oh, crap. Ferdinand I, Karel, and Boris III, members of the Bulgarian royal tier, are dead, reportedly by a very intricately planned and coordinated attack perpetrated by a Serbian nationalist organization. Both Ferdinand and Boris were killed instantly by bullets entering their head. With such blatant chaos occurring, many seek a new leader. 
This day will be... Uh, this day will rest sorrowfully in the minds of all Bulgarians. Election time? The successor. Uh, the old leader of Bulgaria is dead, and all sources point towards the newest leader being influential Tata activist, Gajaz Gaja Ishaki. An unseen charm in his rhetoric have propelled him to the forefront of Bulgarian politics. He's making his inauguration within the next few hours. Good luck. Oh, this guy. This guy. Now we have no political power. It's not bad. And some more would be very nice. Ooh, those are cups, yes. Alright, we wanted to do... Oh, we're still doing this one, which is good. Trade with Albania? Albania has reached to us in an attempt to foster relations and help us open trade relations between our two nations. And while this could certainly help us uh, fight uh, off the effects of Black Monday, of course. Um, while boosting relations between our nations, with that in mind, we decided to... Trade. Yeah, might as well. Better defend those butts, boys. Then take proportional representation focus. Oh, it has to be after 938, okay. Liberal Party, large seen as a part of the status quo by those further to the left of the political spectrum, has been in power for a long time. Currently, the platform supported by the Liberals is one of the increasing representation for, uh, by the, for the people, through the National Assembly and for progressive reforms. Belgrade Congress argues for new order in, oh, the Balkans, oh crap. On the initiative of Serbia, of course, they convened in Belgrade to discuss the political military situation in the Balkans. During this Congress, a new military alliance was founded in the so-called Belgrade Pact. It's clearly aimed against us, of course. Out of revenge for the loss in the Valkyrie, we can only help our former central power allies with support us in the time of crisis. Yeah, that's not good. Not good whatsoever. They announced support for us, the German Empire does. The German government announced today that will support Bulgaria in the case of war between us and the Belgrade Pact. Whether this will be limited armed deliveries or the, or the German Empire will intervene with their army remains unclear, but both of those keep them from declaring war. Albanian response supports us too. Shooting down family courts. Uh, by beginning the process of shutting down Sharia family courts, we have begun to experience backlash from the local Turkish and Pomak communities. Who have argued that the usage of Sharia courts are crucial with regards to abiding Islamic law and that by doing this, the Bulgarian state is blatantly depriving a substantial part of the population of his needs. Regardless of what we say, we must push forward. Defend the reserves, defending our land. It's crucial that we invigorate the soldiers and officers within the armed forces and convince them to defend our rightful lands at all costs. If our enemies are gaining a sort of advantage over us, it will not matter for the Bulgarian land force will fight on and ending the battle to save and uh, preserve Bulgaria. Bulgarian officers, uh, the population would be nice. Bulgarian land force has always been known for its vast reserves of manpower, with potentially impending the entire Greek, Romanian, Serbian, and Turkish soldiers. It's clear that we must expand our manpower reserves so that every able bodied Bulgarian will be ready to defend his country. Well, that's not bad either, but. Um, mechanized farm practices? The strategy that most Bulgarian farmers eat the same laugh and work the same way as if ancestors did during the reign of Tsar Simeon I. As a caring government, we have the responsibility to make sure they will finally learn the joys of modern agriculture techniques. It says Bulgarian state highways, or railways. The situation after the Black Money crisis made us realize how vital it is for a country to be connected. Without the Bulgarian state railway, we'll sure, uh, ensure Bulgaria's one thriving entity. Oh, I don't know. Currently operating from Sofia, Petro AD, as the largest oil company in our country, investing in the activities will not only make us more competitive with the Romanian oil industry, but also prepare our army for the coming war. Well, that doesn't happen anytime soon, but you never know. Ultimatum from Serbia. Ultimatum for the Belgrade Pact has arrived in Sofia. They are demanding that we hand over all territory to seize during the Valkyrie. The members of the Belgrade Pact are threatening us with war we refuse. It's war then? Well, that's not good. Um, but like I said, uh, oh. German proposed a research treaty. Sure, why not? The German government has proposed a research treaty between our two nations. The relations between our two nations have not been particularly close for some time. We could greatly benefit from German military assistance. Yeah. Fourth Balkan War, Ottomans on the move. Perhaps deciding our war against the Belgrade Pact present an opportunity. Ottoman forces are assembling on a mutual border. It's almost difficult to say whether they'll make a demand or simply evade, but we should be ready for either eventuality. How dare they? Yeah, there's not much we can really do about this. Um. 
I don't have the divisions for it, so. Uh, I'm gonna do some Pokey stuff to see if we can actually uh, win still. A German help arrives. As promised, the governor of the German Empire sent just aid in the ongoing conflict against the Belgrade Pact. Unfortunately, can't enter into effect. Intervene directly, but several volunteer divisions and some equipment have arrived. Any help is welcome, of course. Well, the boss, you know. Pop, pop. Sure, guys. Oh, also, we are trading ships the entire time, so... That's why we had no fuel. That's not good. If that's the case, I want you guys to down here. I kind of figured they wouldn't do very well down here, but whatever. So there's two divisions right there. Um, we it's handling the reserve still. Um, which we read earlier. Well trained officers, research tanks, mount infantry, doctrinal review. That wouldn't be bad either to do. But that takes a while to get down there. And we already read all this stuff, which we would probably like to read again, but um we gotta wait till the war is over. Political power. Critical population. Well, we could probably ignore that for now too. Yeah, but in any case, cities, sure. Ottoman's demand Thrace. It seems like old allies in the Ottoman Empire wish to capitalize occurred a conflict with the Belgrade Pact. They demanded the return of Western Thrace, and which is largely both Muslim and Turkish, but we have rightfully occupied since the end of the Valkyrie. Should we refuse, they may very well attack us from the rear and add, add a front to the war we can hardly afford. Give them what they want. Defend as well. Bulgaria refuse as well. We have one, two, three, four. We don't have enough divisions to guard this area, and if we don't have an open front here, we actually might be able to hold out, so. So, what tiles are these? It's Western Thrace. Them what they want. You guys are getting attacked like crazy. I actually want you to go like uh, here. Uh, cover there. You're already in the battle. Here, do that. Give it to him. So this way, we might actually be able to hold out. The Greeks love attacking us, but you know, whatever. Our certain state declared in Latvia. Still building ourselves up, we're still doing okay though. Um, put to AD, reopen closed civilian industry, which is not bad. Rifle to defend every civilian. So you get two military factories and more war support, which we do have. You get a for electronics instead. War support would be nice, but we don't really need any more. Uh, Bulgaria met urban metropolis. University of Sofia yeah, is pretty nice. Um, which one does it require? What are the following? Honestly, two military factories versus three civvies. You can even build more civvies. I kind of want a rifle to defend every civilian. While it's correct that the civilian industry is important, we can't forget that the war is, on go is coming, or currently out here. If we don't abandon our military sector, there won't be any civilian economy to speak of in the near future. We must ensure every person in our country can defend himself. A Bulgarian uh, urban metropolis. Most of the population resides in the countryside, but it's clear that the future of the 20th century is in the urban areas. Bulgarians must have their own metropolises, Sinero, Sofia, Flavdid, and Varna. Remove Black Monday would be nice. Or there is the assistance of the state railway. Bulgaria is becoming more interconnected, but it's not enough. Future transportation is automobile. Which, why should our people be worse than Americans and Germans who have a strong automobile industry? University of Sofia. Founded on the 1st of October 1888, the University of Sofia is Bulgaria's oldest higher education institution. By pouring government funds into the development and expansion of the service offered by the university, we can allow for the education of and our citizens. And here's a status update. We actually got Thessalonica, which... And we haven't used cons commands yet at all. Here are the casualties so far. 80,000, 24,000, 20,000. Overall, not bad. Um, even though we did give a piece of our territory to the Ottomans, whatever, it is what it is. And if we can actually, like, get down here, that actually be really, pretty kind of cool. Um, we'll see, we're defending up here, they're attacking over there, which I don't know why, but whatever. Yeah, we'll do that. If the remaining is one attack, that's okay with us. Uh, but overall, not bad. Oh, well, we're trying to bust through here as best we possibly can, but, you know, it's going to take some time. I'm glad we have the right mount, mount man for the job, so... That is actually really good. And yeah, I'll continue with this too. Fortify the unruly north. More war support, huh? A Bulgarian metropolis and then get over there as fast as possible. So, uh, yeah. More defense. 10% more defense is actually very nice. That's not looking good. Ah. You guys do that, you'll be fine. Actually, if anything, I'm going to put you down here. I'm going to put you back up there. 
Trade spots. There you go. You should be fine up there. We're still trying to take this land tile. Oh, they're all land tiles, but whatever. You are struggling over here, which is not ideal. We lose that. I'm not super. Con uh, I'm a little concerned, I guess. Not super, 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 super concerned. They are militia. You might be able to beat them up. If we have to push down here too, that's fine. But I'd rather make an encirclement if possible. Uh, they are forcing the attack. Oh my god. They are a bunch of crazies, but it is the AI I would expect. Oh, I'm gonna throw you on that line up there just in case. We almost have it. Could you go down here and do that? And then you can help uh, support the attack as well. That's nice and nice. Not bad overall. Uh, we do have a, quite a good surplus of guns. Motorized, not so much, but still. Support the attack, of course. I don't want that guy to support the attack yet, though. Uh, 68 is not ideal. Trying to take him to there would be a suicide. And we don't want to suicide ourselves just yet, or do we? Can we actually win there? we have got extra help. Two divisions might be too much. We'll just try to push right there, too. Or we can try a naval invasion. Do we have air, naval superiority? We have, well, it's, well, it's very mixed. It's very mixed. Getting tired out. We actually made it over here. Nice. Bulgaria Metropolis. This University Sophia. Definitely at first. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? If we can beat at Romania, that would be a bad idea. And we got enough political power, too. Look at that. Uh, let's see. I want you to stay. And you help attack. But since we're over here anyways. Got plenty of attack. Uh, let's go to work on again. Uh, nine, let's get one more. Doing a lot of steel from the Germans. Nice, that's do we're going we're actually doing relatively okay. Relatively. That's going okay too. The National Art Gallery. Uh, established in 1934, the National Art Gallery started in Bulgaria, which is located in Sofia, so especially in the Battenberg Square. The art gallery itself contains many examples of contemporary Bulgarian art, especially those published by the well-known Bulgarian National Revival artists. In addition, works of foreign artists. Any of the royal art collections reside within this great museum. Interesting. We might be able to just be able to bust through everything, but we'll see. Oh, nice. Very good. So good. The goal is always to split Romania into two, but I think that is much easier said than done. Is up there. That should be more than enough to defend. Um, they want to keep attacking that way. I, I don't. I want to go here to here. But that would help us with our borders too. We go this way as well. We help support the attack this way as well. As they're attacking us too. Nice. Losing there, which sucks. We can start attacking with another division if we need to. These guys are dying. I'm not going to force the attack. That would be. Oh. Yeah, there goes Canada. Doing the Canadian things. Nice. Not bad, not bad, not great. That one's concerning me just a little bit. We are losing this battle now even harder. Uh, you know what? Hold then. I want you to go over here. Go there. You're not moving. Good. I'll hold. I'll hold. Let him attack you. Let him attack you. We actually made it over three too. Nice. Um, if we could take the capital, that would be flipping fantastic. We lost fifty-one thousand. We killed off a quarter million. That's actually really impressive. Uh, pause it. Huh? That sucks, bro. Bro, that sucks. Can we actually make these guys thicker? No, eighteen gun with is still pretty decent. We need more artillery though. Just a tiny bit more. What do we need for up here? Nice. It's been the automobile industry? Yes. Oh, fine. If you're actually winning and doing well up here, I'm going to allow it. Alright, so it's 38. We're doing decent. We're doing decent, definitely. Um, plain stuff, actually. Alright, so they are way more spread out. It's actually really nice. Send you guys down here. We'll probably attack maybe Larissa. Go and start attacking. Uh, 
If I could get down here and, and circle three divisions, that would be ideal. Send them that way too. We're just carving up the river here. All right. We just go there to there, but whatever. You know what? Don't even do that. The river has such high penalties. Do that. I can cut Romania completely off, or from Serbia. That's not a bad idea too. But let him wait. Let him wait. 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 Actually, she has another river too. If anything, go up to here and circle and go push this way. That might be where it's at. Sink division sucks. We force it. And then hopefully moving everyone around here. We do okay. Overwhelming firepower. Well, I always do that one. Um, don't really need to do it right now, though. So I'm fire more bra breakthroughs, not bad. Um, what do we want? Engineering schools, Fortress Buster, Inventive Leadership. Yeah, well, we can do this one. We're still attacking and whatnot, so. We got him. Beautiful. Uh, send you in. About. I'll start attacking him. There you go. Oh boy. Ooh, they're starting to beat us up here, aren't they? That's not ideal. 53. Automobile industry, technological institutes, fortify the unruly north. That's not going to help us as much, out as much now. Let's put up Crete as much as possible. Not bad so far. Charismatic. We can recover faster, maybe. Eh, why not? I really focus on de defense with this guy. Defense? Did I just really call it defense? Defense. That's the American way of saying it. Come on, pop them off. We might be able to get Greece done before everyone else. Good. So you're ahead of time. Let's do it anyways. You guys are good too? Go ahead. Still doing okay on resources. So now. I really not give you orders. Honestly, we might just be able to take Greece now. Maybe. That's a leopardous president. Cut them off here, so could destroy anybody that they want. But now we're back around here. This tank division is just not having it too much, really, right now. Um, I don't like this river here. That's a very good fortified defensive position. Go right here. Pop, pop. That's what we want to do. Go straight up. The Serbs have really, really wanted to get killed off. Oh, hello. Um, if you can kill them all off this way, that'd be great, but, you know, you never know. Just don't get encircled yourself, you ding-dong. Good. Take out that division, take out that division, and circle that guy, that'd be good. Uh-huh. Do we have enough divisions to really take this group out? We might take the capital, maybe. Even those guys uh, a bit occupied up there. It's fine with us. So to say. Just want to do everything as fast as possible. Hey, that's nice. It's good. It's good. Well, we should have not given this up to the uh, the Ottomans, but whatever. Uh, we'll train officers. We can all call every officers to say falter decrease in slightest. The armed forces are the part of our nation, and our officers must be of a certain quality to maintain military supremacy in the Balkans. Of course. We were close. I just want to do too much too quickly. Hello. Hey, we sent a convoy. Go all the way through. 
Do not let up. Nestinarsvo. On a fire ring performing the bold but good in Greek cities of the Stradzda Mountains, along to the Black Sea. Nestinarsvo involves barefoot dancing by Nestarni on smoldering flames in the center of the village. The ritual itself is a blend of both Eastern Orthodox and pagan traditions. How exciting. Exhilarating. Tantalizing. We'll do that since we have a guys in the field anyways. Looking decent. Not so much of a mirror. If you about red blood, please go ahead. Rings of a madman. Well, they're always mad, aren't they? Uh, let's go here. Hey! We got grease. Beautiful, my friends. Hopefully they don't need to evade us. So now we're going to help up here as well. You know what? Why are we doing it like this? One solid front line. Spirit support? I never used the spirit. I don't remember the last time I ever actually used it. Absolutely beautiful, my friends. Computing machine, nice. Yeah, I don't need consequence for this, definitely. Thank you, devs. I want you all to hold. Just get to where you need to go. We'll get enough uh, stuff to build ourselves up. Mm, please crack down, maybe. Everybody wins the World Cup. Because I also switched it to local autonomy, which would be very nice. And I switched up to different cavalry divisions. So. so now, we're feeling okay. These guys have an artillery on them. Beautiful. Throw a few more artillery pieces on them, why not? Doctrinal revaluation. The Valkyries have the use and emergence of new doctrines, many of them proving their effectiveness in one way or another. As warfare continues to evolve to this day, it's clear that we must take a good hard look at the doctrine used by our armed forces. And then go from there to find the most appropriate doctrine for our troops. Increase production weapons capability. While the production of infantry equipment is crucial, it's also important that we turn our gaze towards focusing on the production of other key weapons. We must ensure that every division receives the supplies it deems necessary. Ah, they seem very weak here. But maybe they're not. Better radar, nice. We're extracting more. I don't think we're really ready for a full on assault yet. Good. But we can start doing this. With the fall of Greece, I just. I think, I'm pretty sure we're gonna win now at this point. Good, let him move around. Get him out of there. Because we're gonna go to Poyesti next. Absolutely beautiful, my friends. Beautiful, beautiful, beyond recognition. So we're done making you. I don't know why I did that, but whatever. Beautiful. Alliance offer from Albania. News has come from the Albanian delegation, apparently. They seek to form an alliance with us. While well, we assisted them against the Serbian menace in the Valkyrie. Working side by side with the Albanian guerrillas, they still continue to claim a portion of Macedonia, as there is due to the number of Albanians living in the area. Though the fact remains that we are not seen as a positive light by most nations of the Balkans, and any aid in our favor could prove to be a smart choice in the line, which we say. No. That would barely do anything for us. Why are you taking Bucharest? The goal is not Bucharest right now. Go over here and then hopefully push up this way. That is the goal. Four divisions, huh? Is it time we can take this, these guys out? Book arrest? I want to play SD, like I said, but whatever. Whatever. Cool. Um, division. I love this one the most. Guns of Butter. I love Guns of Butter. My opinion, it is the best. Force and defense, huh? How badly are the Serbs going to die here? Not that bad. Oh, we can't do that one. Advancement artillery. Artillery has been a key component of war since the Napoleonic Wars and has played a crucial role during the Valkyrie. Investing in this technology will be extremely helpful as artillery is able to be fired towards distances that infantry cannot reach. Very true. Booker's is going to fall. Beautiful. And let's let the dogs of war. Wow, look at that. That's, that's, that's really bad. Holy crap. One? They must have been attacking like crazy. Now, we're going to suffer here. But we're really trying to, like, just... Attack everywhere, pretty much at once. Fuel storage, huh? Nice. These are big offensive.
Fine, it's everyone, but that was good ahead. Uh, why did you leave this open? Force it. Force it. They want to do force defense, we'll force the attack too. Go there. I mean, they're literally just going to die there anyways, but, you know. There you go, nice. Can you just, like, go ride the rails to Serbia? The Serbian capital? <coughs> That'd be kind of cool. Excuse me. Slowly running out. Belgrade is completely open. Okay. Yeah. You can totally do this without uh, any sort of consequence. It's not bad. Romania is screwed now. What do you do? Bro. You literally split the country in half if you got in there faster. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, they're, they're screwed. Look at that. Half a million dead for what? Plus 140,000. Oh, we split Romanian too. Aha, I love it. Development of motorized infantry? Motorized infantry is crucial that it provides protection from enemy fire and can help transfer troops from one place to another at swift speeds. Beautiful. Get those machine guns. Actually, let me know. What is, at the time of this recording, what is the ideal... Uh, plain template, because I, I really don't know, and I'd like, I, I would like to know, so. Please let me know in the comments below what you use for, uh, planes, like cast, tactical bombers, fighters, of course, so. Let me know what you like to use for your templates, because I really don't know what I like to use. <sighs> I can't believe we actually managed to do this pair. Thank you, devs. Oh my god. We need to blow up any of the ships, so now we actually have a navy. Is it good? Probably not. Look at that. Ugh. Oh. See? Maybe we can do it. Now I won't go back to war with the Ottoman Empire. Liberals remain in power. We are at war. On Independence Day, on the 20th... Oh. Who toasted the Tsar? On the 22nd of September, the Tsar Ferdinand I of Bulgaria, who was in Prince Ferdinand, had proclaimed the independence of the Tsar of Bulgaria in Tarno. Tarnovo. Tarnovo. This has become a momentous occasion for a great nation. This allowed for us to gain uh, our de jure independence and fully free ourselves from the grip of the church's Ottoman Empire. Following the Declaration of Independence, we've met such success throughout the years, especially during our time spent fighting the Valkyrie. A toast to the Tsar! Seizing Thrace. Turks have been allowed to reign in Thrace for far too long. It's time to put an end to the reign in the region. Take it for ourselves. Yeah, we want it back. But is Serbia? Well, if we don't do this. The Romanian forces finally capitulated to Spear of Mai. The time has come to decide to do with their lands. The Greek penalty uh, has been secured and the entire Greek army has capitulated. The fate of the entire Greek nation lies in our hands. The fate of Serbia? The Serbian state has been effectively eliminated and their armies completely capitulated to our forces. With the troops now operating in Belgrade, the time has come to decide what, it must, what we must do with these lands. Conquest of Saloon? Saloon, which was once the center. Oh. Uh, the entire Bulgarian nation. Uh, or national revival of Macedonia is now in our hands, of course. While the majority of the population is Greek, there are Bulgarians in the region who are happy to see the transfer of the territory into the Bulgarian hands. And while this is a joyous occasion, it should we know that we have much to do in terms of consolidating our power in the region? Very true. I want to begin an event for this. The Ottoman Empire refuse our demands. Oh. It seems as though the Ottoman Empire seems fit to refuse our demands. And I say that Adrianople is an Ottoman state, not a Bulgarian one. While waging war against Ottoman Empire is a thing to be taken lightly, it is also clear that we may face a loss of prestige on the world stage if we were to uh, renege on our promises of war, of course. Uh, what course of action should we take? Well, they're fighting you, the Iranians, and it should continue to blow up, right? So. Oh, our stability is going to hit really bad because I'm not going to give anybody freedom. So. But they're ready. Russia offers us an alliance. We received a request today from Moscow itself. They wish to invite us into a mutually beneficial military alliance. While the Russian state certainly needs all help it can get in these uncertain times, we should contemplate how the risk of being brought into an unwanted entanglement with other nations. How should we respond? Well, with our focus tree, Russia should not be trusted. Are they... Oh, wow. That's a really nice state and national populace. They're already at war with them, so... And we want to go to war with them later anyway, so... So this... I think I just saved anyways. We're going to need to raise a conscription level. Truth be told. I hope there's an event where we can say, once we take Istanbul, 
We don't need like anything else or something. Yes. Yes. Go, 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 go. Ah. Okay, so let's read this path guide again. I know it's been a while since we've done it, so. Um bring up the dust. Proportion of book. Do not take it beforehand as liberals. Okay, in fact, now do proportional representation. So we want to get down to here and get this one. So, institution of progressive reforms. We must take to support the downtrodden and disenfranchised, granting them equal freedom to the fellow citizens. In addition, we must take to protect liberty and democracy of Bulgaria, which will offer a thriving social atmosphere. Yes, get across, get across, get across. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna split this up now. Um, you guys. I'll draw down here. New field marshal. He's not great, but it'll do. Fine. You guys go through Constantinople. Go, 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 go. Spread out, spread out, spread out. Become like a cancer and spread yourselves. Bruh, go. Oh my god. It was beautiful. Zagreb is ours. Ah, sucks. Oh, not bad. Oh. Many more small airframes, huh? Well, all right, whatever. We don't have a lot here. Yeah, not great. These are small butter ones. It's fine. Come on, come on. Just break across. We can do it. Additionally. That one, a full abolition of press censorship. While Melanov and the liberals had partially abolished uh, press censorship prior to the Valkyrie, many of the restrictions placed upon the press continue to remain. It's time we allow for the press to properly thrive within Bulgaria. We cannot continue to restrict them forever. The new people have the right to uh, receive unadulterated news. Bruh, come on, they're almost literally all dead. Bruh, you are not done yet. You gotta get down to Rhodes. Antalya. All oh, Beijing, nice. Smyrna. Come on, yes, yes! This is going way better than I thought. Okay, time to destroy stability now. Jabal Shimar, uh oh. Not Jabal Shimar. Oh no, not them. Okay, we've linked up, so you can get back over here. Oh, that's the end of the Ottomans then. Oh my god. I oh, know, it's beautiful. You force it. Beautiful. We can go all around that that way as much as they like. They're all gonna die in the end anyways. Oh. Let's crack down. Let's put this to put this up. Uh, honestly, we could probably use that. Oh, we're on a map bar. Crap. There you go. Bruh. Go, go, go. Get those horsey legs over there. Beautiful. How do they not give up from this? We have no map, of course, which is really bad, but whatever. <coughs> um. Abolition political meritocracy. We must base our political system not off on personal motivations or nepotism, but on meritocratic ideals. Every party that is deemed fit, of course. Uh, shall begin equal opportunity in order to gain popularity within the parliament and better rep represent supporters. Democracy must be allowed to thrive within Bulgaria. For now. Protestants attack uh, and soon. Oh, whoops, I forgot to do all this stuff. Oh, well. Fed Kosovo, Prisma, Chaldis. 
Small state is Kosovo is under control. We should decide what to do with it. We don't need it. Uh, nope. Bit of this military occupation. Charlie's assimilate. Yes. Uh, following the conquest of the region, it seems that various locals and natives in the area have been seen to affect an attack and damage various infrastructural buildings and factories. In addition, we see the local stage uh, protests against the Bulgarian government. Well, some which have escalated a clash between the military garrisons and the locals. That sucks, bro. You guys, you, you are not done. You are far from done. Oh, uh, that's a good combo. Not bad. Nine hundred thousand. Not bad. Cannons, nice. Jerusalem is the capital, bro. Oh no, that's their capital. Hey, look at that manpower coming in finally, leaking in. More soft attack, yes. We'll just go down there and circle all these guys and kill them all off. At the end of the Ottoman state, man. Beautiful. Freedom of press. One of the biggest goals that uh, Malinov. Oh. Uh, and the rest of the liberal party was to continue the implementation of progressive reforms that had been instituted a few years back prior to Valkyrie. One of the reforms was loosening censorship laws in the press. Well, Malinov had moderate success during so he was unable to fully rid the press of the shackles that had surrounded him. However, today marks a day where the press censorship laws have been fully abolished, which will offer a freer, more expressive Bulgaria. This does, however, have the downside of allowing the press to criticize anything they deem fit. No matter, we must deal with fallout. Bruh. You ain't taking my territory. They can take Baghdad, that's the end of them, probably. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wait, what? How did they get rebels to spawn here? Brosifs. Bros. That's so stupid. Call it in Afghanistan. Wow. Here, I'll pop out there. God dang, it was like we're bringing back the Byzantine Empire in this episode. I'm sorry we're taking so long to try to get the guy. Like the guy we actually wanted to get. <laughs> but it is what it is, I guess. Oh my god. Syria. Stop taking our lands. It's our lands now. Yes. Oh, look at that. German military officers. I love it. It's not even German. But it's Bulgarian. What the flip? How did you guys get over there? Bruh. Well, this is our land now. I wish we would take pretty much all of it. Taking all the coastal stuff. That was one heck of a very successful first episode. I didn't think we'd be this success successful. Ours. Yeah, no, that's ours. Oh my god, why would you take that, Russia? Cut them off. Dardanelles, yes. Russia, just die now. There's a new ruler here. Oh, what's this? Oh. Can I actually take that? I could! Oh my god, that's so nice. I'm glad we fought for that. We, we got all of them. Holy crap. We have no political power left. Nice. My god, why don't we just play bit this... Byzantine Empire now. Parts of Texas and Adrianople. Well, the conquest of the region seems that locals and natives in the area have been seen fit to attack damage to various local infrastructural buildings, factories. Oh, we read this book earlier, so. But as it seems as though we've arrived to take the land, which is ours, Constantinople, which was once in the hands of the Perfidious Turks, is now in our hands. We managed to avenge of all Constantinople, which occurred in 1453, nearly 500 years ago, and placed the city in Orthodox hands. The Hagia Sophia and the Ecumenical Patriarch were now are safe in Christian ends. Awesome. Fate of Antoio. We destroyed the last remnants of the Turkish state and finally put the sick man of Europe in his grave. Our troops now patrol the streets of Ankara, yet we can remain as occupied as forever. Decisions will have to be made in regards to the future government of the Turkish people. Nope. And with actually daily compliance right now? Not a bad thing. Happy 1939, everybody. We won the Balkan, the Fourth Balkan War. No more Balkan Wars, probably, at this point. Um. And we took out the Turks. Proportional representation. By instituting a proportional voting system, we can ensure that elections are fair and, and that candidates and parties receive the proper amount of votes. We can allow the views of the Bulgarian uh, people to go unnoticed. The war is over. 
Well, the war that takes no over sound to stand down in preparations uh, long of mutual border. I'd like to be sure. Extraordinarily successful. Probably one of the most successful first episodes that I've ever had. Like, we put ourselves in a very strong position here. Okay. Not that naval XP boy. In the way of, like, no political power, whatever. <clears throat> the armies have managed to control Cyprus, and the island itself is now occupied by us. Few options in front of us now. We can either pop this island, of course, or take it for ourselves, seeing as it possesses a key position in the Mediterranean, and it's crucial to retain control of this area. What should we do? Nope. While we are still this faction, we are going to get as much compliance as possible. Oh my god. Georgia. Jesus Christ, bro. Dude. Hey, 15% is not bad already. <clears throat> are these colony states? Okay, interesting. Well, there goes. It's our, I mean, like three years ago, we were we were tiny compared to what we are now. This is the, this will turn us to like not a mega power, but like a, huh. split into two. Huh? Well, I kind of see what happens after this. <clears throat> then the option in the event that shows up afterwards. Option likely says it's time. So I guess we'll see. Question of women separate. Tides of Bulgaria. I kind of like that one, but I still want to do this one too. Ah, oh, further industrial programs. Wildlife Protection Agency. That sounds kind of nice. Ooh, that'd definitely be better for us. They're just consuming goods, but that's a lot more political power. The devastation of the Fourth Balkan War uh, served an unforeseen consequences of the rapid industrialization. Our government realized that the environment must be protected. Thus, the Wildlife Protection Agency shall come to life. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Opposition exterminated. Ah! Awesome! More polls have arrived detailing the elimination of all opposing parties. Parliament is now entirely controlled by the Ishaki. Ishaki. E, and there's no one who would object to him taking total control. And that's just what Ishaki plans on doing. Kicking everyone else off the boat and having full control over himself. Over it himself. Bulgarists. It only took us like an hour to get here. Well, more than an hour, actually. Oh, look at this guy. He's still the same. Political meritocracy. Yeah, I don't know about that. Well, then. The Bulgarists. Uh, seeking to reestablish the statehood of Volga, Bulgaria, found themselves in the place so that the many Bulgars settled in. Bulgaria! With a nation humiliated by a Serbian seeking to reclaim glory, now is no better time. The Bulgars have ambitious plans for leading Bulgaria to victory. Oh, more organization recovery and attack. Oh, good cores on Kiev? Oh, more war support. Prepare the Bulgar Cossacks. Motorized and cavalry attack and defense. History of the Bulgar people. Oh, look at this. Modernized feudalism. Look at that political power. Feudalism was quite the system back in the day. Although untenable and now unstable, it's a bit of engineering tinkering with feudalism could result in feudalism fit for a modern nation of Bulgaria's size. The change will be radical as usual for the better. They claim to the lands of old. Not only will Bulgars claim that what was previously known as Volga Bulgaria, but they will furthermore aim for Volga Crane, where the legendary old great Bulgaria lived and thrived for some time. The reclamation of these lands will show the world that Bulgaria is not to be messed with. But if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and please let me know what we should name our intelligence agency. Maybe Dan's is fine with me, but let me know what you think in the comments below. And let me know how you think our Bulgarian state campaign has gone so far. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.